Alright, hey guys, King of Charm Manners here, and today I bring you the Season 7 Great League Analysis for Go Battle League. And now, unfortunately, well, actually, I think the good thing is, there's not going to be much to cover, so that's a good part about it. The bad thing is, there's not really a lot of changes. If you review the Season 7 Go Battle League rewards, there's actually no move changes here, so everything's exactly the same. I think Niantic took some vacation time, even though it seems like they always take vacation time because our game's always broken, and Go Battle League especially. Anyways, as you see here, everything's gonna run, everything's pretty much the same as the previous seasons. Go Battle, Great League will run two weeks, from the 1st of March to Monday, March 15th, so 1 p.m. PST. So, just a reminder, if you do play on Sunday, save a set, because you can save one set to roll over for Monday, and then after 1pm, you guys can play your set so that you can start off the season with 30 battles instead of 25. So, just keep that in mind. But anyways, same, same kind of rotation, two weeks for every league, Great League will last two weeks, and like I said, there is no moveset updates as of right now, unless Niantic decides to pull a fast one on us. But... I don't foresee that happening because of all the the legendary event that seems to be taking so much of their time, but we should just see pretty much the exact same things, no move sets. All right, let's get started. On the, let's go. Let's go to the PV Poke now. All right, here's the PVPoke.com rankings. Now, as you see, if you looked at this before, if you've noticed at like the end of Great League for season six, the rankings are generally the same. I would say the biggest threat you could possibly see on here is just more MetaCham XL. Because Metacham XL, there were there, I believe there was that lunar event to where you can get more candy for Metacham XL, so you might see more Metacham XL in this meta. So the only thing you can really I can really say you'll probably see is Metacham XL. Also, we have the Shadow event coming soon, so you could probably expect to see more Shadow Pokemon. Mainly the one I would see the most that you probably would see is probably Shadow Politoed. Shadow Politoed is a one of the it's very spammy and incredibly powerful also great as a switch so just a few shadow pokemon that you should keep available don't forget to tm your frustration away if you're still frustrated so that you you're able to use your shadows your shadow polytoad or just other shadow pokemon you plan on using later unfortunately because niantic is really bad at planning things the mew that you are hoping to use wait let me get the save switches because Mew is a very powerful save switch number two in fact Actually, you, I would say it's number one because unless someone, unless one of you guys rated a bajillion Mewtwo, there's no way in hell you cough 29,000 candy for a Sableye XL. Like I'm saying, unless you dumped all your red candy, there's no way you have a XL Sableye would return for this cup. So assuming that, Mew would be the number one safe switch, right? Wrong. Because you want to know something? You guys looked at the requirements for you to get your Mew. You have to have 30 days of catching straight to catch your shiny Mew and finally use it for Go Battle League. So you won't be able to actually use your Mew until the Great League Remix. Assuming that Mew isn't one of the top 10 banned or you can use it in regular Great League if you want to do that instead of the Remix. Anyway, sadly, that's one of the things you won't see. So you, you know, the ones that you do see using Mew, you could be jelly of them. I do have one, but I don't use it on my main line. But yeah, yeah. Anyways, like I said, Shadow Politoed is very powerful. That's probably the one you're going to see the most, and also XL Metacham. Other than that, the rankings still are the exact same. The patterns you saw from before are going to be the same patterns now, unless someone decides to release a crazy video out there that happens to shift the meta. The good thing in now is that there are so many options out there in Go Battle League right now, especially Great League, that you can't really, though you, there's nothing, unless there's a super, unless you see Regit's deal 69.0, and it has like, it has like flash cannon 9000 and one and it wipes out a pokemon in one shot basically anything that's ungodly powerful this meta is not going to change or just the meta is it i wouldn't say the meta even change not even changes it's just it's going to be diverse because so many things in great league are so powerful now that you can't really like you can't really gauge what the meta actually is it's just a whole bunch of conundrum and chaos that you're going to have to navigate with a team that you have built or hopefully have built yourself or have gotten used to and you're using it really well for Great League. As you see, like I mentioned, ratings are exactly the same. Medicham, Deoxys Defense, Jellicent is here as well. Scrafty, very powerful. The Water lead, the Water lead typings or have seen to gotten a lot more popular or as you see, Deoxys Defense, Medicham. So things... So leads haven't changed. The only thing to keep in mind is just Medicham XL like I mentioned before. Now for the top performers. So Great League for the training analysis is the exact same thing. So like I said, 
pretty much the same exact patterns are powerful now as they were before. This wasn't updated since the 15th. There has been no notable updates since then. So Weather Ball, you're, you're going to still see everyone balling out Weather Ball. The, the ABB lines of Doom and the Bastiodon of Death. And you're possibly going to see Shadow Razor Leapers come back, Charmers. All that other chaos, welcome to Great League. And it's back for Season 7. As you see, Skarmory and everything is still very powerful. This hasn't changed, so if you haven't viewed this from before, it's the exact same thing. Skarmory, Venusaur. Venusaur is really strong just because it does really well against the Weather Ball meta. Also, because of its sheer damage and its its sheer damage and Vine Whip and Frenzy Plan is just overpowered in general, it's insanely powerful for this meta. Weather Ball is, as I mentioned, is still strong. Fighters are still strong. The same 9,000 yards, same thing as well. Also, lines are pretty much the same as you see here. The top five lines. If you don't, if you haven't seen my video on the top PvP, I put the link below in the description if you really want to review. But the best teams are are the team analysis for pvp.com. As you see, ABB lines are still kind of are still pretty powerful. The highest one being the double ghost line, as you see here, and the double steel line, which happens to do very well as well. So the ABB lines, if you use them, before, so I really wouldn't worry about too much of whether or not you have to adapt to this meta or not. As far as I understand, there aren't any Pokemon that are releasing in the future that will actually shape the meta in any way, shape, or form. The only Pokemon I can foresee that in the future, unless barring move changes, is going to change anything is Aegislash. And there's still nothing There's still nothing about Aegislash, Honage, or Doublet, or any, any, of that, any of that Pokemon lines coming out. So don't worry about it. Your same team, like I said, if you have a team that you're comfortable with in Great League... Even if it's not these top teams, just use it and it should work as effective as well as two, as well as it has in the end of season three. Along with that, I wouldn't stress about it too much. Remember, up until rank 22, you your rating, your ELO is unaffected, so it's wins based. So even then, unless you do really, really well, you likely aren't going to get out of the you're not likely going to get an ELO until Ultra League or until the end of Great League. So just keep that in mind. Again, not, not too much stress about it. This is your chance to try and find out, like do some lines or try out some lines if you're willing to do so, just because like I mentioned, your ELO is unaffected. Remember that. Don't stress out. Actually, you shouldn't stress out at all. If you made Legend before, you should make it now. If you didn't make Legend before in the season and you were pretty dang close, put a little work into pvpoke.com, do a little work on the outside, train, train, train. That's how you make Legend. I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you have to put less stress out. They aren't you. I'm not you. You aren't me. If you want to get more confident in your skills of battling or if you want to make legend, you got to put some time on the outside to practice or team build. Either one. Mostly practice. I can tell you the most valuable thing of Great League and the reason why I create lines that work and the reason why my line is... Wait, hold on. This is my... No, there's my line in here. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, this was updated before my line. But the reason why I create consistent lines that hop up on peepoke.com is because I sim the crap out of them. I analyze my team, I sim the crap out of them, I know my ins and outs for my win conditions, and then I play. So, yeah. Train, train, practice, practice. You guys got this. If you didn't make it, now's your time to shine. Good luck on your battle tits. If you have any questions, please put in the comments. Please like and subscribe to this video, and I will see you guys on the next one.